Good. Uh, then uh, next up is uh, Ari Veselainen from the University of Helsinki. Uh, and you will be talking about fine-grained OCR document layout analysis for the hand-printed books from the 18th century using transcribers accuracy and challenges. Okay. Something that we're all interested in. Yeah, thank you. So, okay, first of all, uh, although that now I'm talking about OCR, it, it's not really re only related to the OCR, it's also basically handwritten text, but because of the, the data I'm using, I'm focusing on OCR. So, so actually, I have been uh, working on my master thesis, and, and as part of the master thesis, I have implemented uh, more like this kind of fine-grained uh, layout analysis model for the OCR texts. And this is based on the, the mask RC and uh, instance segmentations. And I think that during this morning, we heard a bit more about what are these different segmentation techniques. And actually, this is very close what was described earlier, that what would be in the future, uh, future transcribus. Uh, and all the work, what I have done is currently done outside uh, uh, transcribus. However, I have used uh, Pitu Pala as an example, how to create this layout analysis. And I, I'm, I'm basically then describing how this has been done and, and, and what were the findings. So this is only, part of my, my thesis work. Let's, oh. Okay, here's the content, but first a couple of words about them. So the problem here is that, that most of the layout analysis solutions available today are really focusing on the, this kind of coarse grained solutions. And I wanted to understand that what does it then mean if, if you want to implement this kind of fine grained analysis. And coarse grain, I, I, I mean that in practice, uh, uh, the solutions are only able to provide a more like this kind of high level elements. Like in, in, in OCR case, we are talking about text regions, uh, fake pictures, uh, tables, etc. But here I wanted to go a bit more to the details uh, and, and really understanding also the, the uh, semantic, uh, semantic uh, more like meaning of those elements. And, and the, the specific questions I had was that, okay, what does it then mean to implement this kind of fine grained uh, segmentation tool and, and, and how this should be then done and what would be then the expected uh, accuracy and then what would be then the main challenges on implementing something like that. And then uh, as I think that every one of us are always struggling that, okay, is this then uh, adequate for the larger scale project? So with, uh, if the accuracy is not enough, then you can probably deal with uh, some manual uh, fixes. But uh, if you want to do it for the larger project, then obviously you need to have as accurate as possible. And then uh, the, the basically the work has been done partially in cooperation with this kind of critical edition of David Hume's History of England project, where they are currently working on understanding how the books of David Hume's evolved during the, during the, uh, between the different editions as David Hume uh, was actually revisiting the, and changing the text during, during, during the time. And okay, then first couple of words about this P to Pala. So, I don't know how many of you have been working it, but it, it's a basically an optional, I would say the optional, more like a, a model of transcribus. So it can be used and, and, and basically it can be used for the, for the detecting text lines, text regions, and also classifying those text regions. 
Okay, the, the, it basically uh, implements uh, this kind of U-shaped uh, convolutional neural network. And originally this, uh, this type of CNN was implemented for biomedical, more like uh, 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 area. However, it's actually applicable, applicable for almost any kind of uh, image segmentation topic. And, and then, yeah. And here's uh, basically it, uh, uh, just a little bit about what kind of data I'm, I'm working with. So this is a typical page or page opening from the, from the 18th century. So the printing during that time was uh, based on these hand printing techniques. And this is also reflecting on the structure of the pages. So basically the main components of the page are these, uh, yeah. uh, the, you have the, the main body. So that's normally what we are then really interested. Then we have the headlines. We have the direction lines here on top of the, top of the, the page. And then we have all sort of Margin up, margins, and, and it is important to more like separate all these and, and then so, so that then you would be then able to, to use the material for further study. And okay, here is an example that if you then want to, to annotate the data that you basically then draw and separate these different elements and, and this is uh, just to more like show that, okay, where do you have the footnotes? Where do you have the marginalia? Where do you have these, uh, these, these, all, all these elements? So very, very straightforward, at least in, in principle. And here, uh, the annotation, I was using the transcripts because actually that's quite handy tool. And, and however, I was not, I had all together, okay, here's 660 pages. Actually, I had a little more than 700 pages. But first, I, I, I just implemented this manually and annotated 100 pages, and then used the transcripts to create the first model. And then I more like iterated this and, and fixing manually the errors. And finally, then I had something like 700 pages available for my model. Yeah. yeah. And okay, here are. So here, here is a more like an, oh, the, the first uh, page or example I, I want to show that, that, as you can see, I would say that this is almost perfect, perfect interpretation of the, the page. So all the, all the page elements are correctly detected and, and also are correctly located. The only maybe a minor, minor problem is there that you have some overlap between these regions. Okay, then here is an example, and as, uh, as, as you can see, this is maybe not that good. And here, uh, it's not uh, this kind of normal content page. This is a table of content page. And, and therefore, first I thought that the problem is probably due to the, I don't have enough uh, examples in my uh, table of content pages in my, my my training data, but it might be that that's not the case. And currently, I'm still working on understanding why the model is uh, showing such results. And then here are a couple of other examples. So although that it works quite nicely for the pages, but then you have some some issues that you, sometimes you have these overlapping areas. Sometimes some uh, more like regions are combined and 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 mixture of these. So. Accuracy is not necessarily quite as good as you would like to have. And here uh, I, I then run through some of the, the metrics to understand that how well is it, it's working. So the classification overall, I think that pretty good results. So it's exactly, it's able to detect these uh, elements correctly on every page. But then uh, if you use an, another measure that's called this interconnection, uh, 
intersection of a union type of, which is basically measuring that how well the, the box or the mask or segments are, or the regions are then located, you, you already see a bit mixed results. So for this text body and header and headings, ex extremely good results, but then for these other uh, page elements, uh, there's, there's a definitely a lot of improvement required. And here, just a couple of uh, words about the conclusion. So definitely this kind of segmentation methods can be used for this layout analysis. And I think the transcripts uh, provides good tools for this data set labeling and annotations. And, and, and p 2 pala can be used for this, this kind of uh, work. However, I, I think that originally I made a wrong assumption. I was, I was thinking that, that you need to have a very detailed level of uh, more like these elements detection. And that not, it's not necessarily uh, necessary because it looks that the model is not able to accurately detect all these different, and therefore some further study is working and I'm currently working on this. So thank you.